Guys, I'm here today with Brawler Steel, a huge honor for me. In my opinion, one of, one of the best Jiu-Jitsu fighters in the history with Gi and no Gi. So he won the words four times with Gi. He won the NCC three times. One time he was double gold, which is like probably the hardest thing to do in Jiu-Jitsu. And the other time he won his super fight on ADCC. So really, really tough. And guys, I call him almost like a scientist of Jiu-Jitsu because <laughs> he invents a ton of techniques. So for example, one, one technique that it's very well known in Jiu-Jitsu that he's in, he invented and has his name on it. It's the steam lock, the foot lock. And the, now he's invented a ton of other foot locks for, to use with Gi as well, which is like really hard, right? And the, probably one thing I was noticing in these words, that we, the words 2019 just happened this weekend. I think the submission that I saw the most in the black belt level was all about foot locks and leg locks. Yeah. I noticed that too, you know, from all kinds of positions, you know, and um, that's why it's something out there that you be looking at. And I kind of noticed one thing that it makes a big difference in, uh, on how to make that even more deadly, you know, so we're probably going to be seeing a lot more footlocks coming up, you know, but because uh, the thing is, uh, one thing that I always notice, a toe hole and a heel hook is a pretty much the same mechanics that your opponent will feel. So if I, on the heel hook, I focus a lot more on the heel than the toe. Why not to do the same when you go for the toe hold? Oh, yeah. Because when you go to the toe hold, we think toe hold, you know, but then it's not the same. If you add a little bit of my twist on, on the heel, it is going to be even more tight, even more deadly, you know? So I developed a few things like on how to, for example, one like that's going here, right? Okay, so when I'm here, if I got the toe, a lot of people go here and go push this way. And some people who is flexible, they kind of, be able to escape that so i figured out a way that like how to pull the heel with a lot more so when i go here I lock the heel over here and i kind of fold my elbows together which is harder for me to turn and now i focus on bring the knee elbow to me sorry the, the heel to me so come on here look, look lock now bring me up the pressure a lot more instead of me pulling down i go down here just pull and twist everything goes feel the knee you feel the heel and it's all I do Jeff Nagel, you know. Has some of those well that Craig showed me to here that you can grab the heel like that, you can wrap the figure up, figure four, and now the same thing, focus on putting the heel. Like it's very, very, very difficult. So some of those things are gonna be covered on the DVD yeah. and, as well. And you were showing some as well that you can switch to the knee bar if it, if you feel like failed, right? Yeah, for example, if I'm here, okay, if I go, it's feel feel this again. And then I can just go and secure to go for the, let's just go back to that side. But I go here, I turn, it doesn't work, lock. I am secure. You know, you just feel the other leg. You turn, if you stretch to turn, you'll be very free to get for the other oh, yeah. And you have the inverted steam lock as well. Sure. Yeah, the inverted steam lock from the keys of the dragon is one of the things that I realize as well again understanding the concept of the heel on one side, the heel in the uh, toes to the other direction, I put the kiss of the ground here, that's usually what we get through, right? So what I do, I bring the toes to one side, secure the heel, and now I can pull the heel to me. Look, ah, if you want to be a little bit more tight, come up here, now it's impossible to move. Ah, so let's right. just change the angle here, just make sure everybody's safe. Right, so I'm here, instead of going to the back like everyone does, just direct the toes to the opposite side, wrap the heel, Figure forward, elbows again, that's the key. Turn, look. <laughs> just go, pop. How did you invent that, bro? Man, just try to understand the heel, understand the mechanics of the heel and toes going to the other side, so we can go from anywhere, really. If, if I could just do that way, you would pop me. Hey. So, you know, basically, it's how can I do that, but doing different parts of my body and not be able to kick. Because from here, a lot of people will do this. You can kick my, my arm with your, with this. Try to kick my, my elbow here, like, if you so to the other side, there we go now, kick this, my elbow, kick it up, okay. yeah, that's it, I cannot complete, right, yeah. but if I do this, try to kick out, yeah, I cannot find roll, 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 try to kick, look, aye, 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 that's unbelievable, <laughs> so the pressure is, is greater, you know, just because I developed some techniques on how to make the same concept work, because, again, uh, a certain technique is nothing more, nothing less than a vehicle to make a specific concept work. Once you understand the concept, 
you can make however your body can possibly make right, right. so pretty much like you build a concept of how to get the food and then you start putting that on every situation that you have we're using different parts of my body and i'm making the same feeling with you that a heel hook would do that's amazing uh, so guys you just shot an entire structure of Fibrali all about foot locks and leg locks so make sure to check that out and the it's very rare to find like a very good instructional with the gi about foot lock and leg locks and Brawl is probably like what, the best one on it. So it's gonna come out very cool at bjjfanatics.com. Awesome. Thank you very much. Awesome. 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 BJJFanatics.com. Use the promo code YouTubeFaria to get 10% off any instructional video. Improve your jujitsu faster. 